I am unwell, people. <clears throat> All right, today is apparently only day 14 of hibernation. I mean quarantine. No, but I really do feel like I'm in hibernation right now because all I do is eat and sleep and I just have not been doing well the last few days. So I forced myself to get up and do my hair and just put a little bit of makeup on to hopefully make myself feel a little bit better just because the last few days have not been my best. Um, but I really wanted to sit down and give more updates because um, the situation here is still really, really bad. Um, I was just watching some of my clips from my last update video and I think I said that like in one day there was like 200 or 300 deaths and I was like oh my gosh that was so many deaths in one day. Well it's freaking doubled by now. Um, I think they recorded a total of like 700 deaths in one day. I think it was yesterday or the day before. So like it's just crazy how it just keeps on getting worse. Um, so in total in Italy, Italy is the country with, that's been most affected so far. Um, it's even surpassed China at this point, which is just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, and I don't mean to like have conspiracy theories, but I don't know how how much I trust China's numbers. But other than that, um, the total amount of cases in Italy is about 69,000. And then as of today, which is the 25th, uh, there's been 6,820 deaths. Um, so again, the country with the most deaths so far because of the virus. And um, each day, like the last week or so, they've been reporting at least four to 5,000 new cases each day. There's a little glimmer of hope. The last two days, they've reported a slightly lower amount of new cases each day. So I think it was only by like 700. So like, I think there was like 5,000 cases three or four days ago. And then the last two days, they reported something like 4,000. So there's a small glimmer of hope. There's been two days straight where there's been like, again, a few hundred less new cases. So I guess that is, you know, one good piece of news. I'm trying to take all the good news that I can um, because it's really easy to get drowned in all these awful statistics um, that are going around. And obviously with all these like crazy statistics of the amount of deaths and new cases in Italy, I was confused and I know a lot of people like my friends and family back home were confused as to why Italy was still, you know, being so greatly affected and, you know, why there are still so many deaths each and every day. But if you think about it on in, on a timeline, if two weeks ago people were still traveling all about before the whole entire lockdown happened, then it kind of makes sense as to why there's still so many new cases coming in because, you know, the virus, it does take a certain amount of time to show up in your system and to, you know, show symptoms. So I think it's not reassuring, but I think it's just kind of explaining why the numbers are still so high right now. Um, and then the Italian government actually announced, I think it was last night or this morning, that they officially extended the quarantine until April 14th. So originally they had said it was until April 3rd that everything was shut down. But obviously as the days and weeks went by, it was obvious that they were going to have to extend that period. So yeah, it's three more weeks. And then another big reason as to why there are so many deaths right now is because a lot of the cases are concentrated in certain parts of Italy. And so if this one area has, you know, this mass amount of people affected by the virus, well, these hospitals aren't built to hold that many people. Well, on top of that, they're having the people who are coming in for normal ailments and illnesses coming in, you know, say if you have a heart attack or a stroke or what be it, you know, they're already overcrowded. Well, you know, there's not enough resources for all of them. So unfortunately, I've heard of a lot of cases um, of these towns who, you know, don't have enough resources that they're actually having to pick and choose who they're treating, um, which is really crazy to even think about. And that's what I really worry about the United States is because obviously a lot of people in government <clears throat> are not taking this matter seriously. And so if they're not learning from these countries like Italy and all these other European countries who are suffering so bad right now, then, you know, I can't even imagine what's going to happen when it really hits, you know, places like the United States who are not as prepared. Um, but yeah, that's just the sad truth. 
And in terms of, I guess, what my family is going through right now, um, it's not been the best. It's not been awful by any means, but um, my aunt, she had been working every single day up until, I think it was two days ago, so Monday. She actually had to quit her job temporarily because her job is, I guess, it would be considered under the table. She's like a caregiver, so it's not really like... An official job and since the government and police have been conducting more police blocks she thought that it was not safe for her to continue working which is really sad because that's a loss of income on their part and then also my uncle so her um, her husband has been working on a cruise ship so he's gone for months at a time and they actually are sending him home so he's coming back tonight um, which you know he's having to self-quarantine um, in the city away from us and away from the family for two weeks, which is really unfortunate for him. Um, we're glad that he's coming home, but, um, we can't see him for two to three weeks. So he's also out of work. So that's kind of putting a stress on the family just because the two primary, um, people who are making an income are out of jobs now. So that's definitely adding to the stress. I've just honestly felt really lonely lately just because, you know, everyone's handling the quarantine differently and obviously we're not going to, I knew, you know, me and my family weren't going to spend every waking moment together, but um, naturally, you know, people just go in their own rooms and do their own sort of stuff for most of the day and I obviously expected that, but since I'm not able to 100% um, communicate with my family just because like there still is somewhat of a language barrier i am able to speak italian or some italian but it you know it's not enough to hold like really complex conversations so you know i that's just something i'm kind of struggling with um even though we are together for some parts of the day when eating like i don't know i just feel like i can't always communicate which is really frustrating um for me and also Obviously, living with your family and being in close quarters with your family, like if if I was at home with my mom and dad, I know I would be fighting with them every day. Um, but and it's not like I'm fighting with anyone here, but I am also struggling because I feel like I can't be as transparent here because it's not my house and because I am a guest and I feel really um, bad. You know, they are letting me stay in their home and I'm very grateful to, for them and I love them so much. But also, you know, it's not my immediate immediate family. It's not my parents and my brother. So I'm not, like, able to just, like, yell and be like, ah, you know, da 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 Like, you're a piece of, you know, like, stop doing this. And, like, not that I want to do that here. But, again, I feel like I kind of just have to, like, bottle everything in because it isn't my own house. Um, so that's also adding to my feeling of isolation is just not being able to fully express my emotions and such um but other than that i'm doing fine um i know my first few videos were kind of like oh hi like reporting from quarantine and then right now i'm like i can barely open my mouth to speak right now it actually really helped me watching back my videos previously that i made about the quarantine um just to see like how i've changed over the past week or so um and i saw like this you know trend going on in italy where you make a video for yourself for you know your future self to watch so i think that actually it's kind of cheesy but it really helped me and um it kind of lifted my spirits a bit just because i saw like how vibrant and how like energetic i was and even though i'm not feeling the same right now it's nice to see that, you know, I know that's who I am <laughs> and after quarantine, all else will be <laughs> well and I'll return back to my cheery, happy self. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Um, stay safe out there. Social distancing, if you're not doing it, you're a piece of shit um, <laughs> because people are dying out here. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of going crazy. I don't mean to laugh about that. Um, but stay safe, stay sane, <laughs> stay sane while you can.